Hey everyone, thanks for joining me on this video. Um, I'm gonna talk to you about why you should become a ticket broker and give you seven reasons why to consider reselling tickets from home. So we've had a lot of different videos that cover um, you know, where to buy the best tickets, what to price them, how to actually make money doing this, but we've never gotten into the reasons for why you should consider it. And in this video, I wanna cover that and I'll give you seven uh, exact reasons and kind of go into more detail um, as to why you might want to consider uh, ticket brokering, you know, as opposed to a lot of different other uh, forms of income and jobs out there. So let's get started. So um, there are seven main reasons, um, and here are the kind of the perks of being an online seller. Uh, the main reasons are right here, and I'm going to kind of go into detail about each one of these little things. So first off, it's income, uh, schedule, scalability, being your own boss, travel, um, having a business ver versus working hours, which is also a really important part, and then the feeling of accomplishment and personal satisfaction. So let's dive in. So there are uh, obviously the main perk is income. Everybody wants to make money online. Um, you know, there's a lot of benefits that come with that, and there's different income levels. So there's the side income, the full style, uh, the full lifestyle income, and then the business. So. Uh, amongst the 500 plus ticket flipping members that we already have, uh, it kind of breaks down to the, these three main categories. And we actually have a video that kind of already covers this, um, but here it is again. So the side income is 500 to $3,000 per month. Um, you know, that's someone you know, who's trying to just make extra money, uh, whether for themselves, for their family, you know, um, 500 to $3,000 a month can make a big difference in someone's life. And then the full-time lifestyle, we consider $3,000 and above because really to be making, um, to have a good lifestyle, we believe that you should make at least $3,000 a month and then up to 15, which is plenty of money per month. You know, you're making at the higher end, you know, upper class there. And then there are people who make this into a business where they work, you know, with three, four or five other people, you know, maybe even two people and they make, you know, 15,000 uh, per month, um, you know, that's... You know, less often, 15,000 per month is, you know, more common and then 1.5 million is much less common. But, you know, there are brokers out there who are making those volumes and it's not entirely crazy. You know, people are doing even more than that per month. So, uh, and that's the business. So these are the three categories. Um, and, you know, obviously making an income is probably the biggest perk because, you know, we're all trying to make money and it's uh, really important. So these are the kind of the breakdown um, and let's keep going, see what other benefits um, there are. You have your very own schedule. So what this means is you work when you want to, uh, you don't have any preset hours, you can have much more time to spend with your family, with your friends, or even alone, if that's what you want to do. So, you know, it's much more flexible. Um, you work more some days, you work less other days. Uh, I'm not saying that you're not gonna work any hours, you're just gonna be, you know, hanging out all day long, but you don't have any preset schedule, which means you can wake up a little later, go to bed a little later, um, you know, it's much more flexible and you can kind of choose, you know, when to work more and when to work less. And uh, just a few things you do have to keep in mind is that brokers you usually have to buy pre-sale tickets around 10 a.m. Eastern time and 2 p.m. Eastern time uh, two times a week. So that varies, but, um, you know, just keep those, those times in mind. And you can also give yourself time. So just Generally, you can, you know, you have your own schedule, you can decide what it is, and, you know, obviously, you can, we can all understand the benefit of that. So let's keep going. Scalability. Um, like I said in the income slide, you could actually grow from side to lifestyle to business. So if you can scale up and increase your business over time, you will naturally get better at, at buying and reselling tickets, buying and mo buying more tickets, buying in bulk. So You'll naturally increase uh, the business is super scalable since you're not working time. It's more about like your knowledge and the, the more you learn, the more you can scale up and the more money you can um, theoretically make. And that's kind of what we've seen as a trend for our existing members and for ourselves as well. So uh, scalability, it's one thing that, you know, you're not waiting years to get that two, three, five dollar uh, increase for your hourly wage but you're consistently scaling your business on your own just by learning more and expanding um, you know, the things you have access to. Being your own boss. So this is simple. You have nobody to answer to besides yourself. You must stay responsible for yourself um, and you must stay accountable, which can be hard, but if you work together with other brokers, you know, um, for example, in our ticket flipping community, we keep each other accountable. Like, hey, make sure 
Uh, did you get that pre-sale this morning? Did you get it, you know, the on sale at 2 p.m. this Friday? Make sure you sign up for the Verify fan codes. You have to be accountable, you know, um, being your own boss is actually not as easy as you might think. You know, having a boss can suck, but they keep you in line sometimes. But being your own boss gives you a lot more freedom, a lot more flexibility. And, you know, ultimately it's, you know, it's something that everyone should experience and at least see if it's something that they want to do for themselves. Um, you can travel or work from anywhere. So, well, with the caveat, you have to have Wi-Fi, but you can work from anywhere. Um, nothing much to say here. You can work from wherever you want to work. Most importantly, you can work from home. The coffee shop down the street, Miami, Thailand, just as long as there's Wi-Fi, there's a good internet connection and you're there on time to buy tickets, um, you know, during the pre-sale or on sale for certain events, for seated events, and then you're also there with Wi-Fi to buy general admission events when you get a low ticket alert from the toolbox. So something like that, but this is one of the biggest things that's been impacted for me is that I can work from home. Um, you know, I can work from wherever I bring my laptop and it gives you a huge amount of flexibility and it really allows you to kind of live a much more interesting life because you don't have to be in a certain place at a certain time ever, uh, which can be really fun. So uh, that's one of the perks as well. This one is a little more complicated, but it's really, really, really important that you understand it. Uh, having a system versus exchanging your time for money. So you can never really make that much money working by the hour. We all have 24 hours a day, even a doctor, you know, let's say you get paid $100 an hour, you're still making, you know, if you work 24 hours, you make $2,400, but that is still not gonna be as much as, you know, hey, I have 30 tickets to this concert that are all $100 each. They all sold the last, you know, the last two days, you can make thousands of dollars in days because, you know, some days you make less, some days you make more, but you have a much higher general potential to make money because you're not exchanging your time. You, you have unlimited time in a sense. So as, as a business owner, as a broker, you are a business owner. You're making money in your sleep as your tickets sell online on StubHub, Vivid Seats, across these multiple websites. And you can buy hundreds of tickets and sell hundreds of tickets but you can't buy hundreds of hours and you know and work those hours. It doesn't make any sense. So you are not getting paid for your time, but as you build a system that earns you income, you make more money. So nobody's ever gotten rich without truly mastering this element and understanding that, you know, putting your knowledge and your time and your money and, and the internet really is one of the main things that's been added on is putting those things to work for you and make money for you as opposed to just exchanging your personal time for it. Um, I feel like that's one of the most important things to understand. Um, and I think we should all try to understand that. So let's keep going. Um, lastly, for me, a really big thing has been personal satisfaction. Having an online business will make you feel like you are winning at life. Uh, as funny as that sounds, um, the reasons why you are building your own lifestyle, you're taking charge of your life, you're respecting your own time, you're deciding that you're worth more in a sense and working towards a brighter future. And at the same time, you're providing more for yourself and more for your family. Uh, and your friends or you know whatever whatever that means to you but um, you know putting in the effort to make an online business do something different you know you know take a risk in a sense um, you're kind of saying like hey I really do think that I'm worth something better and deciding to actually go ahead and do it so um, that's why you know these are the main you know seven reasons why you should consider reselling tickets and kind of the benefits it gives you um, it's not you know so much particularly related to ticket resale it you know varies across a lot of different online businesses, but this is what Ticket Resale has done for me personally and for a lot of ticket flipping members and a lot of brokers out there. Um, so definitely consider that if you are interested in actually learning how to become a ticket broker. Um, you know those are I've explained kind of the reasons. We have a lot of different videos that you can watch on like how to do it on our YouTube channel. Just subscribe and look through the videos, but. Uh, what I do recommend is that you sign up for the new broker introductory webinar. Uh, that is a 30 minute webinar. It's longer, but it'll explain, you know, the whole fundamentals, the ticket flipping basics in a sense about how to make money online, buying and reselling tickets. It'll give you a really good idea if this is even something that it's for you, that is for you or not for you. Um, but just sign up, drop your email and sign up for that webinar and watch it whenever you have a chance. You can watch it right away or you can just choose to watch it later because it'll go to your inbox. Um, and I just want to say thank you for watching this video. It's been about you know 10 minutes now. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you learned a lot about you know with the benefits of ticket brokering 
and uh, maybe you're interested in actually becoming a ticket broker yourself. So thanks for watching this video. My name is Dean and have a great day, everybody. Thanks for watching this video and if you have any questions, send us an email and we'll be more than happy to answer them for you.